Can one survive in the water and survive the island? Well, let's find out. I think that's enough for me to do the old jump. Hey! You you walk on water. Well, why, why didn't I think of that one? Cool, so we've established that I am Jesus Christ. Very good to know. What is going on? Everybody, welcome to Survive the Island. I'm your host, the Birdman known as Falcon. I'm not sure why I said the island that way, but I wanted to say it that way. Anyway, this right here is a free game on itch at the moment, as you could probably imagine based on the title. It is indeed a survival game. As of late, we checked out Raft, which was another survival game, and I think we had a lot of fun with that one anyway. And I'm over here just showing this one off because I think this popped up on itch not too long ago. So if you're looking for, you know, free games to mess around with, this might be something up your um, alley, I do suppose. There's actually even multiplayer involved with this one already, which is actually kind of impressive, honestly. But without further ado, let's go into single player here. Um, I've messed around with this here a little bit. Um, the graphics are really nothing to write home about. Um, really nothing about it stands out to me at the moment, but um, I guess we'll just check it out and maybe it's something that floats your boat. Um, you can check out my inventory over here. I only have water in a can. Which to me is just so weird. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had water from a can. Like, I think the closest thing I've gotten to that is maybe like... I don't know, maybe like tonic water or something in a can? Does that come in a can? I don't even know, man. But it's just a weird concept to me, like, you know, water in a can. I I mean, I do bottles, it's like it's tell you, you know, off the tap or something. But not from a can, it's just so weird. Look at this, let me pull it out right now. You see this? I mean, let's not even discuss my creepy-ass, like, alien fingers over here. Hey, LMAO! Anyway, let's put this away. Um, so, we should be able to craft some stuff over here, but we need to actually find some supplies for it first. Um, obviously, first thing you want to do... Oh my god, it's just run really fast. But first thing you want to do is kind of come out here and get whatever you can get. A couple of stones over here. Like a stone. You guys remember, um... Audio Slave, that's the name. There we go. Audio Slave, right. You know Audio Slave, right? It was the the project after Rage Against the Machine, after um, Zack De La Roca said, Peace out, and I'm out of here. I'm not even sure what happened to anybody there anymore. I don't, I don't think Audio Slave exists anymore. I think there was a Rage Against the Machine reunion at some point, but I don't think they're together still. I don't know, man. Mus musicians, how does it work, right? Uh, anyway, right now we're just collecting some of this here, which we're going to be needing to make some really important stuff. Am I seeing something on this tree? I do believe I am. What are you guys supposed to be, huh? What are you guys supposed to be? You guys stand out? Oh, you're just wood. You're just like a part of the tree. Okay. Well, you guys kind of stood out pretty, like, you know, from far off, so I was kind of like, really curious about it. Stones and stones. Now, there's actually wildlife here, to my understanding, because you have to keep yourself fed. We do have a couple of uh, meats to start off with over here, but we do have to hunt at some point to keep ourselves alive. But right now, my, my big focus is to kind of find fibers and sticks so we can make, like, the bare essentials. Now, is it just me, or is this right here feathers? What about the eggs? Why don't you collect the eggs so we can eat them? By the way, is there a reason why there's so many goddamn eggs on the ground over here, huh? What's going on with these birds? Why don't they nest up on trees? They're nesting on the floor now. It's so weird. We don't do that, man. I can tell you first-hand experience that we do not approve of nesting on the floor. We usually hang out in limbs and trees and stuff like that. Anyway, I think that should be enough for us to gather a couple of good supplies here for the start. Let me close this because I'm not sure what's out there. I'm, I'm concerned about what's out there, but I'm not sure what's out there. Let's go over here and make ourselves a stone axe to start off with. We'll also make ourselves a stone pickaxe. The bare essentials. And you, could, you guys just move on down if you don't mind. Maybe down through here. Down here. Let's equip stone axe over here. And you over here. Swell. Now, anything else we want to make? Um, I think we need wooden planks to make the furnace, which is going to probably lead us to hopefully cooking some food and stuff like that. A torch would be nice for the nighttime as well, so let's go ahead and... Oh, I need... Yeah, I need animal fat. So we do have to get a hunt out there. So you know what? Let's make a bow after all. And we'll probably need some arrows as well. I would imagine so. Stick, fiber, and feathers. We do have a few of those, so we'll make a couple of arrows over here. Very ideal. Again, it's very it's very basic, you know, survival 101 game over here. But, um, you know, it's it's a free game, which is the reason why I wanted to show it off. Because a lot of, I know a lot of you guys also enjoy just checking out free games every now and then. And, you know, everybody has their own kind of thing when it comes to video games. So, some people might really enjoy this, some might not. But, might as well just put it out there to bring it to attention at the least. So, now that we have a bow, I would like to be able to find something to kill. Ideally. Oh, I, oh, right, I can't make the torch because I need animal fat. 
So we do need a kill. Okay. You guys see anything moving? Anything moving at all would be ideal right now. Thirsty. Look at that. I'm drinking my, my canned water. <laughs> Let's have some food here momentarily. Canned water, baby. That's what life is all about. I was promised animals. Where the hell are the goddamn animals? Oh, oh, I see movement. Okay, here we go. Now. Ideally, that was a small little critter, so I have to imagine he's kind of fast. So we're gonna handle some snow. Oh, a little bunny. You're gonna get it right now. Now, how do I... Okay, good, 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 good. That's how we do it. Just automatically equips the arrows. Very ideal. Very useful. Little bunny. I saw you moving here, little bunny. Oh, there you go, huh? Huh? You're just running away? Why, why, why do I have light arrows? What is this fucking Legend of Zelda? Can I recollect you or what? Uh, can I? Oh, I can! Sweet! So, they're lit up because if you miss, you could collect them again. Oh, god, I lost. Oh, there it is. Okay, hold up, hold up. My friend, you're making a fool of me right now. And I don't appreciate it one bit. Ho-ho! Got him right in the ass. Got some fat. Got some raw meat. And some leather. Oh! Oh, hey, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, I could probably use you as well, if you don't mind. Huh, you gonna run? Huh, you gonna run? Oh, Falcon's got the touch now. We got the touch, baby. Let's collect all this here. Okay, that should be enough. Now, um, we need logs. Oh, fuck, I, I lost my house. Yo, yo, where's it at? Excuse me? How does one house just suddenly disappear? Let's pick up some more... Stop it. Pick up feathers while we're at it. House? That over there doesn't seem like something we should be hunting. That's a that's a rather huge animal over there. It's probably a wolf of some kind. It would be a goddamn wolf. It's always the wolves that are your enemies in these games, isn't it? All right, let's go over here and get the axe. I'm almost out of energy too. As a matter of fact, I'm out of energy completely. Get some water. Have the last bit of food. And no, you put that you put that can of water down, okay, young man. Oh boy. So now we bring you down for a couple of logs, and then we'll turn these into planks. We got seven logs and zero saplings. Okay. That went down really fast, by the way. <laughs> I'm an expert fucking woodsman over here. Just call me Bun Paul Bunyan, baby. Oh, now this one is over here giving me some trouble. All right, five and one. Perfect. So this should be good. I'm curious about that giant creature over there. Well, not really giant, but you know, it's ra rather big compared to the rabbit. I think it's a wolf, though. Let's see. Now, with this here, we should be able to make a couple of planks. So, craft that away. And do I have enough for the firmness? Oh, we need stone. Oh, God, I need six stones. How many? I have five? You're telling me I'm missing one. Well, at least we can make the torch now. Let's do this so we get some light outside. So, you come over here, water down here. And we're going to be starving soon, so I need that furnace and hopefully cook. One would imagine. And all we need is a stone. There we go. That should be exactly enough needed for the furnace, but we might as well pick up a few extra, because why not? Nothing wrong with having extra storage, man. You might call me a pack rat, but you know what I'm telling you? You know what it is? It's actually just uncomfortable living. Just being secure for the future is what I like to call it. Alright, here we go. So now, furnace is ready to go. Craft this bad boy up. Cool. Now, where does one... It can be grown into a tree. It can be placed. Oh, okay. Do you want to fry the meat? Can be pl Yeah, I do want to fry the meat. <laughs> I've never been <laughs> propositioned that way though. Hey baby, you want to fry the meat? It's kind of like, whoa, what are you what are you getting at here? Huh? You pervert. Um, can I just place it here or what? Let's see. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. This is this will be good. You know, nothing like having a, a hot furnace or furnace running next to your wooden log cabin. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, so now we use you. Aha! Yes! So let's go ahead and cook everything we have. And now we won't be dying. Very cool. What is this, the logs? Very cool. Alrighty, so we have ourselves a furnace too. Hey, I would say that's actually good progress. What else can we make though? Hold up. Hold up. We ain't done just yet. We got a workbench. I'm pretty sure we would need that. A lot of planks are needed. Luckily for us, we do have a lot of logs, so... This should do it. Here's my workbench. Craft that too. Okay, and let's bring you eh, somewhere down here. Oh, Jesus. Get, get off. Get off, man. Now, where do I place you? I guess somewhere out here is going to be ideal. You know, put the fire next to the cabin and then the less dangerous one farther from the cabin. That's my way of thinking here. We got daytime coming up. Anybody out hunting me? No? Alrighty. Well, we're thirsty, so let's have our canned water yet again. 
cool. Hey, what happened to my uh, meat, by the way? I cooked it. Is it in here or what? Oh, just went to my inventory straight up. Okay. There we go. Let's have ourselves a little breakfast salted meat action. No, don't don't use that. Just eat the food. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, no, you put that torch away. Drink some water. There you go. Alrighty, cool. Let's see. What can we make over here? Press E to use. Leather armor, leather... Oh, it's sweet, man. So, we can actually make equipment. So, there's actually dangers in this game. I thought there was no danger, but apparently there is a danger. And by the danger, I'm not talking about Walter White. Dude, you could actually make an entire house again. House blueprint, torches, beds. Oh, my God. It's actually pretty cool. All right, so, let's see. An iron spear would be great, but we need iron ingots, which we can make from the furnace. i got to figure out how to do that one, no. Uh, leather armor. We need ten leather, so we have to go out hunting for a while for that. And in terms of the... The ingots, what do I need? Probably ore. Probably ore. Yep. So we have to go and do a little bit of um, axing, or not axing, but pickaxing, I guess. But I'm pretty sure you all want to. S well, I mean, we'll do. We'll take care of it soon. But let me take care of this rabbit first. But I'm gonna go after that wolf over there. Oh, what a shot, baby! Just call me Legola69 because I got this shit on lockdown. Alrighty, so let's find out how we're going to die viciously to old Wolfman over here. Has Wolfman spotted me? I feel like he spotted me, but no, he hasn't. Okay. Let's see here. Good shot. Oh, right in the eyes. Bring that ass down, dude. Huh? You want to you wanna poke? Huh? I'll poke your ass, too. I mean, not, not that way, you perverts, but, uh, I mean, I'll poke his ass in terms, not as literally his ass, but, like, you know, when you say, like, your ass, you're not really talking about somebody's backside, literally. It's kind of like, you know, you're talking about them in general. That's the way I'll do the poking. I'm gonna get off of the poking wolf thing here now, because it's kind of really uncomfortable. But, that doesn't seem too dangerous to me, so, if there's a way to, like, make stronger armor, why would that be the case? There's gotta be something even more dangerous out here, right? And I feel like we gotta find out what that is. Because it can't just be the wolves alone, right? By the way, I like how the, the wolves and the rabbits are like living in peaceful harmony over there alone. <laughs> just peaceful harmony. Oh boy. Uh, if you're, in case you're wondering, by the way, I'm not playing with um, you know low graphics. <laughs> this is just literally what's in the game. I'll leave that up to you guys. Well, this is here is surviving the island, and I would say that I think I did a really terribly good job surviving this island here today. Because the wolf man got the arrow right between the fucking eyes. That was actually a really amazing shot. But I don't think there's anything. Oh, there's water over there. Okay, hold up. Before we wrap up. The fuck was that? That was just weird shadow effects, right? I thought that was like a giant fucking bird swooping from the sky about to kill me. I'd be like, no, dude, what's with the bird on bird violence here? All right, before we wrap up, I'm going to run over there to that um, little ocean line that we just saw. I want to see if there's actually water in the game. Well, the good news seems to be that there definitely is a beach line over there. The bad news is that I recover stamina like a motherfucker, so I've over here been walking for a very long time and running whenever I get the chance, but this is taking forever. But we're almost there, so don't you guys worry. I cut forward so you don't have to suffer like I am. There's a big fall-off area over here, too. Well, I guess there is water, so we have confirmed water in the game. And I see another wolf over there, I do believe. Now... This is the ultimate test. Can one survive in the water and survive the island? Well, let's find out. I think that's enough for me to do the old jump. Hey! Oh. Oh, right. You walk on water. You you walk on water. Well, why, why didn't I think of that one? Cool, so we've established that I am Jesus Christ. Very good to know that Jesus is surviving the island. Well, there you guys have it. This is the game itself. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a free game. Check it out for yourself if you want to. Maybe there's more to it. I don't know. I just saw it and I figured I'd at least point it out to you guys in case you were looking for a free game to mess around with. Poke the water, Jesus. It's all good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.